we're going to look at writing the equation of a line from two points. Okay, so we're given very, very little information. And from these two points, I want to come up with a full equation of a line. Uh, this type of problem at this point in Algebra 1 is a little bit longer of a problem, so feel free to pause and rewind in certain parts of the problem. I'll even break it up and say, oh, here's part one, part two, and part three. So that way, if there's certain sections you're unsure of. So we're given two points. Our end goal is to get an equation of a line, y equals mx plus b. I want to find the equation of the line that will go through those two points. So our goal is we have to figure out what in the world our slope is, and we have to figure out our y-intercept. we got to figure out our slope. we got to figure out our y-intercept. So if you've watched a previous video of mine, you will find that this first part really isn't that hard. The first part is we should just find the slope. Start by finding the slope. So remember from my previous videos, we know slope m, the equation for that is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This equation will lead us to our slope. So if you need a little help on this, check out one of my other videos out there. All right, so we have our two points. We are gonna use this formula. We're gonna find our slope so we can get on our way here. This is our first point. This is our second point. So I'm gonna label this x1, y1. So that's the x1, y1. Why did I use ones? It's the first point listed. X comes first, Y comes second. My second point they give me is negative three, negative six. Since it's the second point, I'm gonna call this X2, Y2, X2 and Y2. So now it's just a quick game of plugging things carefully, simplify it and see what we got. So away we go. To find my slope, I'm gonna start with fraction of y2, y2, y2 in this case was negative six. Next, I need a subtraction. So here's my subtraction. And then I need y1, which according to our information, y1 is zero. Move to the bottom, the denominator. x2, x2 is negative three. Subtraction. And then I need x1, which is six which is six. And then I might lean a little bit on a calculator here. If you're not so strong with the quick mental math with integers here, positives and negatives, go ahead and feel free to lean on that calculator. So I'm gonna start with a negative six minus zero, negative six minus zero, which is negative six for the top of this fraction. On the bottom, Negative three subtract six. Negative three subtract six and I get negative nine. What I need to do is I need to reduce this fraction, clean this up a little bit. Calculator does a fantastic job of that if you struggled this and you don't have this skill in your arsenal. So negative six divided by negative nine. Negative six divided by negative nine. I want to reduce that. So if I hit enter in a calculator, it's just gonna kick back a decimal for you. But graphing calculators, if you're someone that doesn't have the skill at reducing fractions, go ahead and hit math, enter, enter, and it is going to reduce that fraction for you to two thirds, two thirds or two over three. So our goal is to come up with y equals mx plus b. At this point in time, I do know my slope. I know my m here. So if I'm starting to put together my equation of my line, I have y equals two over three x plus b. Two over three x plus b. So the only thing left to do is figure out b, figure out b. So a lot of people get stuck at this point and they're like, well, I'm not really sure what to do from here. This is the one piece I want to know. I really, really, really want to know b, but I have these other variables floating around. If this was all numbers, I could solve this equation for B. So we can actually do that. So this is the second part of our problem, the second phase. What we're going to do is let's plug in some of this useful information into my equation and solve for B. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in X and Y. I'm gonna plug in X and Y, and we're going to solve 
for b. Plug in x and y and solve for b. What I mean by that is up here I have, I'm just going to use this first point. Could use a second one, doesn't matter. I'm just going to use the first one listed. I have an x value of 6 and a y value of 0. Well, I see x's and y's down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this x value and plug it in for x. I'm going to take this y value and plug it in for y. Plug in your x and y. Make sure it's from the same point. Don't mix and match. I just pulled from the same point. 6 in for x, 0 in for y. So what this would look like is 0 equals 2 over 3 times 6 plus b. So I plugged in my 6 in for x, my 0 in for y. I just need to clean this up and solve for b. So I see some multiplication here that I can actually figure out. So if I type in 2 divided by 3 times 6, I get myself 4. 4. So if we clean this up. I still got a 0 because I haven't touched that. 0 equals 4 plus b. My goal is to solve for b. My goal is to get b all alone. So let's do that. I need to move this 4 away from the b. The opposite of a positive 4 is subtract 4 here, subtract 4 there. Subtract 4 from both sides. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. These 4s cancel, and I got myself B. We found B. Now remember, my goal was to figure out Y equals MX plus B. Well, I now know my M. I now know my B. So the final thing we need to do, the third phase, is put it all together. Put it all together. Put the whole equation together. So we're going to have y equals, we found earlier that my m was 2 over 3, x, and then my b is negative 4, so I'm going to put a minus 4 there. That is my equation of the line through both of these points. Again, it's a little bit of a longer problem, so just break it down step by step. Focus on the M, then focus on the B, and then put it all together. Again, that was writing an equation of a line from two points.